Let's go live. <coughs> live from Seattle City. Yes. Now presently, this man is Radha Krishna. Embarrassing. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> this is it's embarrassing. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Devim Saraswati Vyasam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Ato Jai Mudiraye Ato Jai Mudiraye Nascha Preshu Abhat Preshu Nascha Preshu Abhat Preshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavata Uttama Shloke Bhagavata Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhakti Naisike Reading from Srimad Bhautam, Canto 8, Withdrawal of the Cosmic Creations, Chapter 2, Crisis. Text 1. Shri Shukha Vacha, Shri Shukha Vacha, Asit Giri Varo Rajam, Asit Giri Varo Rajam, Rikuta Iti Vishnutaha, Rikuta Iti Vishnutaha, Shiro de Navrita Shriman, Shiro de Navrita Shriman, Yodana Yutan Mutsrita, Yodana Yutan Mutsrita. Translation Sukadeva Goswami said, My dear king, there is a very large mountain called Tri Kuta. It is 10,000 Yojanas, 80,000 miles high. Been surrounded by the ocean of milk, it is very beautifully situated. Texts two and three. Tavata Vistrita Parya, Tavata Vistrita Parya, Tribi Shringai Payonidim, Tribi Shringai Payonidim, Vishakam. Rochayan Aste, Vishakam Rochayan Aste, Raupya Yasa Hiran Mahi, Raupya Yasa Hiran Mahi, Anyasha Kakuba Sarva, Anyasha Kakuba Sarva, Ratnadatu Vichitritai, Ratnadatu Vichitritai, Nana Drumalata Gulmai, Nana Drumalata Gulmai. Nirgoshay Nijaram Vasam Translation The length and breadth of the mountain are of the same measurement, 80,000 miles. This is huge. <laughs> it's three principal peaks which are made of iron, silver and gold. Hmm. Iron, I thought it was copper. <laughs> Beautify all directions and the sky. The mountain also has other peaks, which are full of jewels and minerals and are decorated with nice trees, creepers and shrubs. The mountain stands, increasing the beauty of all directions. Text 4. Sachavani Jamanangri Samantha Paya Urmi Bi Samantha Paya Urmi Bi Karoti Shamalam Bumim Karoti Shamalam Bumim Harin Marakatashma Bi Harin Marakatashma Bi The ground at the foot of the mountain is always washed by the waves of milk. They produce emeralds all around in the eight directions, north, south, east, west, and the directions midway between them. Main, northeast, northwest, you know, so eight directions. So, in case people are wondering, Srila Prabhupada highlights mm -hmm. in the in the bottom if you read the different planets. 
and some of them there are oceans. Mm -hmm. So you probably analyze. Uh, there's an ocean filled with milk, somewhere an ocean of liquor, an ocean of ghee, an ocean of oil, and an ocean of sweet water. Uh, there are different varieties of ocean in this universe. Modern scientists who have only limited experience cannot defy these statements. They cannot give us full information about any planet, even the planet which we live. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says how when the when the shoreline when the in the valley where the mountain is washed by milk those uh, stones become animals it's just amazing no? mm -hmm. the other thing is if the materialists find out that there are planet of ocean of oil, they will want to wear this <laughs> so they can go exploit. and exploit it. <laughs> I will be fixed it. Really? Thank you. I tried it so much. <laughs> yeah. And then they are planted with milk and so on. If they find this milk, they will uh, they will try to destroy it because they can't make profit, no? So the materialists will be like that. Either they will try to exploit, <laughs> right? Or they will think, oh, the milk will be free. <laughs> now, this milk ocean, where this Trikatu mountain is, it, it's, it's not Suetutu. Yeah. There is a planet where there are Surabi cows, but they are not from the spiritual, they are not the spiritual planet. Okay. So you'll read this in the... 10th canto, uh, when Indra attacks the Vindavan Vasis, mm -hmm. at that time when he wants to ask for apology, Surabhi will accompany him. So, so you can see the, the way the universe is created, so amazing and so beautiful at the same time. Uh, the, we cannot conceive how beautiful and amazing the Lord is. You know? Text 5. Siddha Charana Gandhar Vai, Siddha Charana Gandhar Vai, Vidyadara Mahora Gai, Kinnarai Rapsaro Vischa, Kridat Be Justa Kandaraha, The inhabitants of the serpents, Kinnaras, and Apsaras go to that mountain to Thus all the caves of the mountain are full of these denizens of the heavenly planets. So the mountain has many caves and this they come there for, as I said, you know, vacation, you know. Vacation, huh? yeah. vacation home. Vacation home for them. <laughs> <laughs> Demigods are like that. They go to different planets, planetary system to enjoy themselves like that. Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. <laughs> right? I could go down to Aruba. So, probably uh, Surabhika only Vakun Lok or the Devata of Surabhika too? Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. No, I was saying there is also a planet of Surabhika house within this material world. Oh, okay. But that is not the spiritual world. Not Goloka. Yeah, not Goloka. So, uh, the, uh, are they like Indra Burma, they own Surabhika too? Mm -hmm. They have Surabhika too? Well, you know, like you, you did the past time, Vashishta Muni. He has a cow also like that, similar. Yeah. So they are most of the cows in this planet that we have are descended from this Surabi cows. Yeah, descendants of descendants. Now they are trying to you know genetically modify. That's how it is. So anyway, it's a beautiful place. You know. It's, a, it's so exotic, you know, it's like uh, you want to go to the right? right? So let me go to this very nice place, you know. Tech six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's true. That's true. <clears throat> we, we think there's only one ocean. So Prabhupada say higher planet system, they go to ocean of milk to enjoy. <laughs> uh, tech six. Guham Amarshaya, Abhigar Janti Haraya, Slagina Parasam Kaya. Where is this Trikuta mountain? Where? Ocean of Bell. It's in the Ocean of Bell. I, I didn't hear. Yeah. Ocean of Bell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different one. Could be, yeah. Huh? To, so Sita. 
could be this mountain. Yeah. Oshnam Belt. Because he went to Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different one. Could be, yeah. So I think based on this diagram, the circles are different, different. Yes, 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 yes. You're right. So we can, yeah, that's a good point. You know, in the Jambu Deep, each uh, region is surrounded by different types of ocean. Yeah. So one of them is the Milk Ocean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the Three Kuta Mountain is in one of them. So, yeah. That must be another one. Yeah. So it is not that Milk Ocean where no, she no, 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 no. Oh, that's what I was saying. At the beginning, I just said, no. Yeah. We are Dhruva Maharaj. That is Svetadiv. Mm -hmm. This is uh, in Jambu Deep. And the mountain is 80,000 miles high, so, you know, you, you can't see it, you know. <laughs> it's huge. People over there will be quite tall. Quite tall. Well, generally, and uh, from what Dibri told me, like Hanuman and uh, yeah. all of them are like 14 foot, like normal mm -hmm. height. <laughs> Bishma. And then the Hanuman was small, bigger small. than Bhima? Yeah, like that's what I was told. So I never like read it, but I was told that. Yeah. And it makes sense. Like uh, even uh, Balaram got ma married to, she's from a different yuga. So he takes his uh, plow and then brings her down to side. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. But it means people in different yugas would be yeah. Do you remember reading yeah, that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Because one past time uh, when uh, I think Mahavar defined some skull that is of a big man and it's really big. Yeah. Yeah, the sun uh, was different. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Even Bhakti Siddhanta Sarada Thakur, when they saw a picture, somebody put the group uh, huge. He said, uh, yeah. 40, 50, 60 billion, 70 billion, I think so. Because when you fly, next time you fly, you look down, yeah. you see the 40, 50, 60 billion, 70 billion, I think so. Because when you fly, next time you fly, you look down, yeah. you see the tree. It's the trees you can see. And then you just imagine how tiny the human beings, right? Yeah. The planet is huge. If she wants, she can support, <laughs> right? When she didn't want to support, Prithu Maharaj got angry with her, right? Remember? So he punished her, he said... Inexhaustible Inexhaustible energy. Yes, yes. She can give as much as... <coughs> anyway, uh, in the translation, because of the singing very loud, the lions there have been very proud of their strength, raw with unbearable envy, thinking there are like lions and elephants, but they are different uh, nature also, you know, lions and elephants, but they are different uh, nature also, you know. So here everything is small, there everything is big and, 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 and beautiful. Also. So Prabhupada is and beautiful. Also. So Prabhupada is highlighting the wonderful uh, nature of this heavenly planet. The land is made of emerald. Uh, so, and he quotes Bhakti Vinod Thakur's song, Keshava, Tuya, Jagata, Vichitra. It's like full of varieties. And so, we get this information from the Srimad Bhagavatam, but these, we get this information from the Srimad Bhagavatam, but the scientists, they cannot package. Right? They use this telescope or they use the radio telescopes and then they say according to the light wavelength. So much speculation. They do that. So Prabhupada says that they falsely imagine that all planets but this one are vacant, uninhabited and full of dust. <laughs> the moon planet, uh, even if you land there, you cannot see because you don't have the the vision to see, not qualified to see. So everything appears like dust to them. 
on on the on the, the science fiction movies they make they show different planets they don't they're just speculating yeah, yeah 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 according to babatham all these planets are beautiful they're beautiful yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The only planet that's beautiful is Avatar, no? <laughs> that guy. Yeah, the planet they look so horrible. <laughs> the, the living entities look like Kim Puras, Kim Purushas, because your knowledge is 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 defined already in the Vedas. You can't think outside of this creation. No? Yeah. So whatever they think is uh, is <coughs> a corruption of the reality. Perverted <coughs> huh? reflection. Perverted within the material world is still perverted, more <laughs> grossly perverted. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so Prabhupada says they, the scientists become so proud because they can learn the planet is. Uh, so, and then they think they can teach everyone that. You know? Brahmanas nowadays who are not practicing properly, they cannot therefore help the people who need help. That is why Srila Prabhupada said, I came to create Brahmanas. So it's so important that we study Prabhupada's book so we can guide people. There are so many people out there, they don't have any affection, right? The relationships are all useless. So if we guide people, we show so much affection, they want to be with us. They will come to us. Because you know? there's no love out there anyway. So we should practice that, you know. Right? So physician, heal thyself. First, make yourself practice nicely and be happy. <laughs> you should be happy, you should be grateful. Srila Prabhupada gave us, you know. Otherwise, how are you going to preach? You go there, you're like, your face is so long. <laughs> you know, also to get mercy. Yes. You have to do mercy. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Therefore, you have to take the humble position. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So, our perfection is follow Srila Prabhupada's teaching. As long as you follow nicely without deviation, you are perfect. <coughs> but you may not be perfected, <laughs> but you are perfect because you are following without deviation. You don't have to, I always tell people, just preach happily and, and preach what you have learned. Don't concoct, don't add in, you know, just because sometimes you want to feel you, you know more, you add something, but it makes no sense. You know? So don't do that. You know? <laughs> and then immediately the guy will think, what's wrong with these people? <laughs> so don't do that. So then the next sentence Shiva Prabhupada says very very nicely. He quotes this verse from Srimad Bhavatam. Savit Varahostra Karai Samstuta Purusha Pashu. Materialistic leaders are praised by dogs, hogs, camels and asses and they themselves are also big animals. And then Prabhupada says this one should not be satisfied with the knowledge imparted by a big animal. <laughs> Uh, but he says one should take knowledge from perfected people like Sukadev Goswami. Right? Listen from the Mahajana Yena Gata Sapanta. And then there are 12 Mahajans, and this is a verse from the sixth canto. Uh, so I would suggest you all know this verse also. If you can, you please try to memorize this verse. Right? Swayambhu Narada Shambhu Kumara Kapilo Manu Prahado Janako Vishnu Balir Vaya Shakhi Vayam. So, know this verse, it, it's very helpful. And you can always say, We only follow the teachings from the Mahajans. And then Mahajana Yena Gata Sapanta, that is a verse from the sixth canto. Sixth. No, it's from Mahabharata. Oh, it's in Mahabharata. Yeah, it's Mahabharata. It's yeah. quoted in Bhagavad Yeah, it is quoted by Prabhupada. Both, both quotes it. Yeah, but uh, it is from Mahabharata. Oh. It is the full quote is in Chaitanya Charitamrita. If you if you check it up, and then you can use that. Yeah. 
text 7 nanaranya pashuvrata nanaranya pashuvrata sankula droni alankrita sankula droni alankrita chitra druma suro dhyana chitra druma suro dhyana alakanta vihangama alakanta vihangama the valleys beneath three kuta mountain are beautifully decorated by many varieties of jungle animals and in the trees which are maintained in gardens by the demigods varieties of birds chirp with sweet voices so even the birds there are of a higher class okay. <laughs> birds in this planet may not be as high as the birds you find in the heavenly planets text 8 Sarit Sarobir Achodai, Mulina Irmani Valukai, Devastri Majana Moda, Saurabha Amba Anilair Yuta, Three Kuta Mountain has many lakes and rivers, with beaches covered by small gems resembling grains of sand. The water is as clear as crystal, and when the demigod dam damsels bathe in it, their bodies lend fragrance to the water and the breeze, thus enriching the atmosphere. So the demigod themselves has beautiful fragrant body. <laughs> Mentioned like on the, uh, Saturday I was speaking, and the devotees were actually reading from this, so we were talking about this. So demigods themselves have very nice body fragrance. It's just fragrant. Then uh, Prabhupada says, yeah, uh, I was, I was <laughs> bad bodily odors. <laughs> I think you said that they dip in the lake and the lake becomes, becomes be more fragrant. This is <laughs> what it what is. Yeah. There, right? yeah. The land fragrance to the water and the breeze. In the breeze, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they, they enhance the fragrance. <laughs> they don't have earth element. Who? The demigods, do they have earth? Yeah, yeah, they are, they are, of course, of course, but it is on a subtle, yeah, yeah it's subtle. It is element, earth element, but not uh, earth. <laughs> yeah, it's because we, we tend to think earth is this, is the only earth. So when they are in their planet, they also say that is their ground, earth, you know, like that. Yeah. So previous process is milk, and here talking about water. Yeah, there are lakes there. They have no, water. No, this is... Uh, no, there are lakes and rivers, you read. Yeah. Trikuta mountain has many lakes and rivers. Yeah. Within the mountain. Okay, so within the mountain, there, there, there are many lakes and rivers flowing, and they are taking bath in there. Okay. So on the milk ocean, uh, they will not bathe. They get on boats and they have uh, you know, <coughs> cruise around the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> within the Tikuta mountain, there are beaches. Yes. Lakes yeah, the beach is there, but it's with the milk ocean. But within there is rivers <coughs> and, lakes, yeah. and lakes, big, big, nice, beautiful lakes. Yeah. And Tikuta mountain is in the Vekuntha? No, no, material? it's material. <laughs> we, we were just discussing. It's okay. in Jambudu. Okay. Yeah. Bumandala? Yeah. Yes, Bumandala. So Prabhupada also says, the bodies of the damsels in the upper planetary system are so beautiful, we can just imagine how beautifully formed are the bodies of Vaikuntha damsels or damsels in Vrindavan, the gopis. So he's giving you an understanding that you, you may think you're beautiful, but the denizens in Vaikuntha, I mean demigods are even more beautiful. The more beautiful than them are those in Vaikuntha. And even more exalted and most beautiful is the gopis in Vrindavan. So it's actually inconceivable. It is said that if you look at them, you will faint. The most mm -hmm. beautiful is Radha, Srimati Radha. Yes. Krishna. Yeah. <laughs> Krishna is of course. <laughs> one time one disciple said he dreamed of Srila Prabhupada. And he said, Prabhupada, you look so... In the dream, you were so effulgent and golden. So Prabhupada said, yes. But he said, if you see my real form, you will faint. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spiritual form. Huh? Anyways, it was spiritual. Yeah. So, so we have to understand. It must be so 
you cannot conceive. <laughs> so I mean, like for example, this what Miss Well, Miss you, they are even say so beautiful. These are like billion times more beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> and the gopis are un- unlimitedly beautiful. You cannot even understand. What you- so that's why we we can't have the vision. They must bless us with the vision to actually behold the beauty. It's amazing, but you have to just behold the beauty <laughs> to get the vision. And keep expanding, right? So it becomes yes, more and more beautiful. Yes, yeah. expanding. Like That's how it is in the spiritual world. Sure. Yeah, so it's all limited. So all right, text nine <laughs> to thirteen. <laughs> Tasya Dronyam Bhagavato Tasya Dronyam Bhagavato Manasya Mahatmanaha Manasya Mahatmanaha Uddhyanam Ritumanamam Uddhyanam Ritumanamam Akridam Surayoshitam Sarvato Lankritam Divyair Sarvato Lankritam Divyair Nitya Pushpa Faladrumai Nitya Pushpa Faladrumai Mandarai Parijataischa, Mandare Parijataischa, Patala Shoka Champakai, Patala Shoka Champakai, Tutai Pialai Panasai, Tutai Pialai Panasai, Amrai Ramra Takairapi, Amrai Ramra Takairapi, Japura Kai, Madukai Shala Talaischa, Madukai Shala Talaischa, Tamalair Asanarjunai, Tamalair Asanarjunai, Aristo Dumbara Plakshai, Aristo Dumbara Plakshai, Atai King Shuka Chandanai, Atai King Shuka Chandanai, Pichumardai Ramba Jambubi. In a valley of three Kuta mountain, there was a garden called Rituman. This garden belonged to the great devotee Varuna and was a sporting place for the damsels of the demigods. Flowers and fruits grew there in all seasons. Among them were Mandaras, Harijatas, Patalas, Ashokas, Champakas, Chutas, Pialas, Panasas, Mangos, Amratakas, Kramukas, Coconut Trees, Date Trees and Pomegranates. There were Madukas, Palm Trees, Tamalas, Asanas, Arjunas, Aristas, Udumbaras, Plakshas, Banyan Trees, Kimshukas and Sandalwood Trees. There were also Pichumardas, Kovidaras, Saralas, Suradarus, Grapes, Sugarcane, Bananas, Jambu, Bad, Badaris, Akshas, Abayas and Amalakis. So, so, so many trees. Uh, so many trees. Uh, no. Some trees, Sukadev uh, Goswami. No. So if you want to grow trees, it should be um, this kind of trees. <laughs> These are good trees, you know, mode of goodness kind of trees. <laughs> yeah, you grow only pine trees. <laughs> For what? And, uh, and my, we were in Mumbai last year. Uh, we were uh, there's a park there. We used to chant in her, and then I saw the Ashoka tree. Mm, uh, Ashoka, Ashoka tree. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So tall tree. Yeah. Yeah. Ashoka. Yeah, the Ashoka trees all the way in the, in the back yard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the, so you can imagine in the grove of Ashoka, Sita Devi was sitting and yeah. uh, meditating on Ram. Yeah. So when you see the trees, you should remember the past time. Past time. Yeah. That's how you should connect. You can't just... Oh. <laughs> 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 no, I've heard about, yeah, I think I didn't connect it, but, but you should remember because of you yeah, should, you, should, you all should try, practice, then you will see. Like you see banyan trees, you can remember Krishna at the end, he sat under banyan trees. So you should think like that. Banyan trees. Yeah. 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 So, right? We have many of these trees except couple, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, what, what I'm saying is, if anyone wants to plant trees, make sure you plant such trees. 
it's good it's auspicious tree so they don't grow here you see mandaras you can some some, some of them will grow yeah, yeah. <laughs> text 14 to 19 more trees bilvai kapitte jambirai bilvai kapitte jambirai to balla takadi bihi to balla takadi bihi asmin sara suvi phulam asmin sara suvi phulam lasat kanchana pankajam lasat kanchana pankajam kumudot pala kalara kumudot pala kalara shata patra suyorjitam शक्रवैशारशरपी जलकुकुदाकोस्ती दत्युकुचित Kundai kuru baka shokai, Kundai kuru baka shokai, Shiri shai kuta jengudai, Shiri shai kuta jengudai, Kupja kai swarna yuti vir, Kupja kai swarna yuti vir, Naga pun naga jati bi, Naga pun naga jati bi, Malika shata patrascha, Malika shata patrascha, Madhvi jala kadi bi. describing flowers and other animals. In that garden, there was a very large lake filled with shining golden lotus flowers. So we don't see golden lotus flowers in this plantra, which added excellent beauty to the mountain. There were also Bilva, Kapitta, Jambi, Valla Taka trees. Intoxicatable bees drank honey and hummed with the chirping of the birds, whose songs were very odious. The lake was crowded with swans, Karan, Davas, Chakravakas, cranes, and flocks of water chickens, the Tuhas, Koyastish, and other murmuring birds. because of the agitating movements of the fish and tortoises the water was sent from the lotus flowers the lake was surrounded by kadamba flowers vetasa flowers nalas nepas vanjulakas kundas kurubakas ashokas shirishas kutajas ingudas kubjakas swarna yutis nagas punnagas jatis mallikas shatabatras jalakas and madavi latas the banks were also abundantly adorned with varieties of trees that yielded flowers and fruits in all seasons thus the entire mountain stood gloriously decorated there is only just one mountain in a heavenly planet just imagine how beautiful the heavenly trikuta mountain on earth there is no comparison to their super excellence more information For instance, we understand that there are. Okay. Shri Mad Bhagavatam presents the total knowledge of the affairs of the universe. It not only describes this universe, but also takes into account the rains, the rain, certain on certain days. Chakra Vakas. Yeah. Is that the same word? Chakra bird. Chataka. Yeah. There's Chataka, Chataka, Chataka birds Chataka. different from chak. Right. Rains. Rains, and that to a ninety degree or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't measured those things, but <laughs> only but, in water. Yeah. Only the rain. It cannot touch the ground. If it touch, it rather. Not rain. Yeah. Oh. That's how mm. these birds. Are. So, so the devotion, by by I think Bhakti Nanda too, 
or someone says our devotion should be like that only krishna only krishna worship krishna and so on just read the bhagavatam you know just read the bhagavatam read the fifth canto or read, read this kind of uh, this uh, when they all go so they they go to kailash so they they see it's so beautiful amazing it's almost like vaikuntha like that so the Prabhupada's point is this, no need of imagination. <laughs> Very important, no? because we tend to think we know everything. Text text 20. Tatrai Kadata Girakana Nashraya. Tatrai Kadata Girakana Nashraya. Karenu Vetrava Vishala Gulmam Prarujan Manaspatin Vishala Gulmam Prarujan Manaspatin The leader of the elephant with his female elephants, he broke many plants, creepers, thickets, and trees, not caring for their piercing thorns. So now we're getting introduction of the Gajendra. the star of the star. <laughs> <laughs> so chapters two, three, and four talks about Gajendra. And the third chapter is his singing, and the fourth chapter is liberation and the benediction given by the Lord. For those who remember the past Simply by catching scent of that elephant, all the other elephants, the tigers and the other ferocious animals such as lions, rhinoceroses, great serpents and black and white sarabhas fled in fear. The Chamari deer also fled. <laughs> it is said that the Najendra from his tumuli, the there's a musk, you know, it's just flowing. So his people, uh, all the others can smell him and then they run away. It's, it's huge and it's very powerful. <laughs> Text 22. And Chamari deer is from whom we get the Chamar? Or is that? Chamar is from the Yak tail. It's Chamar. Yak tail. I do not know which deer this is. Maybe some of the name. Some of these are not here. So maybe some of these animals are not in this planet. Yeah. Text 22. Rikavaraha Mahisarka Shalya Rikavaraha Mahisarka Shalya Goputya Shalya Rikamarka Tascha Goputya Shalya Rikamarka Tascha Anyatra Shudra Harina Shashadaya Anyatra Shudra Harina Shashadaya Saranti Bita Yaranu Grahina Saranti Bita Yaranu Grahina By the mercy of this elephant, animals like the foxes, wolves, buffaloes, bears, boars, goputchas, porcupines, monkeys, rabbits, the other deer, and many other small animals loitered elsewhere in the forest. They were not afraid of him. Uh, mainly, not afraid of him means because they are not af When he is around, all the big animals are not around, so they are happy to walk around. Freedom. <laughs> Freedom. So in front of him they walk. <laughs> but they don't block his way. Text 23 and 24. Sagarmatatta karibi karenu be Sagarmatatta karibi karenu be Vrito madachur karabai rano druta Vrito madachur karabai rano druta Giringa inna parita pratampayan Giringa inna parita pratampayan Vishayavano 
Surrounded by the herds, other elephants, including females, and followed by the young ones, Gajapati, the leader of the elephants, made Trikuta mountain tremble all around because of the weight of his body. He was perspiring, liquor dripped from his mouth, and his vision was overwhelmed by intoxication. He was being served by bumblebees who drank honey, and from a distance he could smell the dust of the lotus flowers, which was carried from the lake by the breeze. Thus, surrounded by his associates, who were afflicted by thirst, he soon arrived at the bank of the lake. So he has an uh, impact in that, <laughs> in that place, you know, he's like a big personality. <laughs> and the bees are, are, are uh, like, you know, going around him because of the, the, the musk that is coming out of him. Yeah. Text 25. Vihaya tasmin amritambu nirmalam Vihaya tasmin amritambu nirmalam Hemara vindot palare nurushitam Papau nikamam nija pushkarotritam Atmana madbish napayan gata klama The king of the elephants entered the lake bathed thoroughly and was relieved of his fatigue. Then, with the aid of his trunk, he drank the cold, clear, nectarian water, which was mixed with the dust of lotus flowers and water lilies, until he was fully satisfied. 26. Nipaya yan sam snapayan yata grihi. Nipaya yan sam snapayan yata grihi. Like a human being, who lacks spiritual knowledge and is too attached to the members of his family, the elephant, been, even in, as a human, they will take so much effort to take care of family, uh, even though they may be suffering also, but still the attachment. So he says, like a human being who lacks spiritual knowledge. Mm -hmm. And what is the problem? Too attached to the members of his family. Not otherwise, you can be attached, but not too attached. Text 27. Tam tatra kachnin nipadaiva chodito. Tam tatra kachnin nipadaiva chodito. Raho bali yam charane rusagrahi. Raho bali yam charane rusagrahi. Yadricha yaivam yasanam gato gajo. Yadricha yaivam yasanam gato gajo. Yata balam soti balo vichak. So the word is Yadrichaya, that means on its own or providence. By the arrangement of providence, O king, a strong crocodile was angry at the elephant and attacked the elephant's leg in the water. The elephant was certainly strong and he tried his best to get free from this danger sent by providence. So when the elephants go in the water, they disturb the water. Mm -hmm. So all the other fishes and all, they like, hey, let's get out. You know? mm -hmm. This crocodile is like, no. <laughs> it's like that sometimes. <laughs> when we say by the arrangement of providence, it's, what do we mean? means by Krishna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Generally, the term is used like that. In the old English, they say providence, but it's actually the Supreme Lord arranged that. Or they will say fate. Destiny. Destiny, fate, karma. 
<laughs> Nobody says karma. Yeah. <laughs> devotees say karma. Yeah. Sometimes they say karma. Yeah, that's what I mean. Devotees say. No, like outsiders. Now they are this yeah. because of us. <laughs> <laughs> they associate with us and they are saying karma and now they. Rest also you this now. Yeah, thanks to <laughs> you. Mataturam yuta patim kare nabo. Vikrishyamanam tarasabaliyasam. Vichukrushudina diyo paregaja. Ashni. Vashni grahastara itum na chashakan. Vashni grahastara itum na chashakan. seeing Gajendra in that grave condition, his wives felt very, very sorry and began to cry. <coughs> the other elephants wanted to help Gajendra, but because of the crocodile's great strength, they could not rescue him by grasp grasping him from behind. Text twenty nine. O king, the elephant and the crocodile fought, fought in this way, pulling one another in and out of the water for one thousand years. Upon seeing the fight, the demigods were very surprised. And they were surprised because I don't think they expected all this kind of problem in that. Holiday resort, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens, you know. People get drunk and they fight. No? <laughs> Text 30. So this is uh, our ears or whose ears? Yeah, our, ears? so it's, mm. I think it's Sahasram. Mm. Yeah, summer Sahasram. Doesn't say celestial it's, ears. Mm. He doesn't say Divya, so. Mm. We can check. Text 30. Tato Gajendrasya Mano Balaujasam Tato Gajendrasya Mano Balaujasam Kalena Dirgena Mahana Budvayaya Kalena Dirgena Mahana Budvayaya Vikrishya Manasya Jale Vasidato Vikrishya Manasya Jale Vasidato Viparja Yogul Shakalam Jalokasha Viparja Yogul Thereafter, because of being pulled into the water and fighting for many long years, the elephant became diminished in his mental, physical and sensual strength. The crocodile, on the contrary, being an animal of the water, increased in enthusiasm, physical strength and sensual power. You know, it's like home ground advantage like that. <laughs> So when you're there, it's like, oh yes, you know, you shout like that. So the elephant is is slowly going into the water, and so therefore he's losing, strength. yeah, faith. And then he, when you lose faith, you become fearful, and then you lose your strength, determination, everything. Huh? So, and okay, well, Prabhupada says, one thousand years of fighting, he didn't even eat also. <laughs> And then, of course, on the such circumstances, the strength will diminish. Uh, then he becomes weak. His senses are not so sharp anymore, right? Your mind is not so bright, uh, difficult to think. Uh, whereas the crocodile, Prabhupada says, in the water, he had no problem. He can get food even in the water. <laughs> so while he's holding, he opened the mouth, eat like that, I guess. <laughs> so... We're already be drinking the... Blood. Yeah. Maybe drinking the <laughs> blood, blood or whatever. <laughs> so Prabhupada says the most important point he says in the middle of the purport. Now from this we may take the lesson that in our fight with Maya so he's comparing us to the elephant and Maya is the crocodile. Uh, we should not be in a position in which our strength, enthusiasm and senses will be unable to fight vigorously. 
our Krishna consciousness movement has actually declared war against the illusory energy in which all the living entities are rotting in a false understanding of civilization. The soldiers in this Krishna consciousness movement must always possess physical strength, enthusiasm and sensual power. Okay, so always you have to be healthy, you have to be enthusiastic and you should have good sense control. Okay. To keep themselves fit, they must therefore place themselves in a normal condition of life. Normal condition is devotional service for us. Uh, what constitutes a normal condition will not be the same for everyone and therefore there are divisions of Varnashram. But everything in Varnashram is centered around Krishna. Yeah. And of course, in, in highlighting sannyas, Prabhupada warns, so he quotes from Chaitanya Charitamrita, how that in Kali Yuga one should not take sannyas. Okay? But even then, having said that, Srila Prabhupada has given sannyas. So he says, right, for preaching, we gave young boys, again Prabhupada emphasizes, we should not feel, as Grihastas, we should not feel that, Oh, you know, I am a Grihasa, I can't do devotional service. Mm. Right? We, we make excuse, right? <laughs> oh, I have children to take care, I have to do this, I have to do that. No, his point is you have to maintain your sadhana properly. Mm. Okay? Very important point. <clears throat> so then he quotes this very famous thing. Uh, yeah, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Tani sthitai shruti gatam tanuvan manobhi. Yeah? He tells who? Ramananda Rai. Ramananda Rai. Ramananda Rai. No, 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 Ramananda Rai. No, 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 the highest code, right? No, no, we are not talking about that. It's not that one? <laughs> no. Prabhupada wa wants to go with He Chitra wants to go out yeah. from his house and go yeah. with Mahaprabhu and so he yeah. says just Kurma stay there. Just yeah. Kurma, Kurma Brahmana also. I think it's Kurma Brahmana. If I so stay there and practice and it will reveal to you. Yeah. So the whole point is you can stay in whatever ashram and it's not necessary to take sannyas. Okay. So it's a famous verse, Tani Stite, Shruti Gatam, Tanuvan Manobi. In the mind, inside, you, you meditate. So externally, you should do your Shruti. duties like that. Prabhu, can I say one thing? Yes. See, uh, here Prabhupada is saying that uh, if one is sexually inclined, then he should go to Grastha. In a way, it's okay, but in Bra Bhagavad Gita, how many places Prabhupada, Prabhupada mentioned that <coughs> Um, body, celibacy of body, you know, austerity of body, that one yes. should not get involved in that. You know, yes. So many times that one should control their senses. Yes, and, yes. All those things. Yes. I am just seeing the difference here that here Prabhupada is in a way saying if you are inclined, then go to Gurdasana. Yeah, Prabhupada's point is if you can avoid it, avoid it. But if you cannot, then go to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's not saying uh, uh, contradictory statements. Yeah. It but it doesn't mean that it is And free. even if you are Grihastha, mm -hmm. you should be a Grihastha Brahmachari. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Grihastha Brahmachari. So you still have to control your senses. Right. That, that's yeah. what in Bhagavad Gita, in many places yes. it is seen that you should control that. Right? Yes, so yes. So you shouldn't feel, uh, you know, um, think that Prabhupada is saying it's bad or what. No, not like that. His point is, uh, having gone through Grihastha Ashram himself, his point is, it's a very difficult situation, you know. So he's recommending, mostly you will see him telling not to get into Grihastha situation. But his point here is, if it, there's a, this mentality, people think that uh, they all must take sannyas. <laughs> it's like the uh, goal of life is taking sannyas. Prabhupada says that's not the, the case. You know? and, and if you cannot take, then you can remain as a Grihastha, but the goal is not to be sannyas. The goal is Krishna. Yeah, pure devotional service. So you said, don't give up the fight against Maya in whatever ashram. So that is the right understanding. Yeah? Not otherwise. We shouldn't think the other way around. Okay. 
again this group one ashram dharma is stressed here yeah he says that clearly one ashram dharma is true it's true so the prabhupada wants to highlight this that's true let me check something <coughs> Okay. The last sentence, Prabhat says, one should not give up the fighting and go away. So that is the whole idea. Whatever ashram you are in, hmm? at all times, don't give up. You should be happy to be in Krishna consciousness. <laughs> yeah. And then stick around. Even if you can't do it, just even if you hang around with other devotees, something will rub off. Yeah. Like. Our proper disciples, Gurudas and uh, Yamuna Mataji yeah. and Gurudas Prabhu, Shyam Sundar and Aarti Mataji, yeah. they all were couples. Yes, yes. But proper served him so well. They served so nicely. They opened so many centers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so that's his point. You, know. you, you can do anything so nicely. Yeah. Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvita could send. Sanyasis to England to start. Prabhupada sent Grihastas. <laughs> and yeah. they opened centers all over Europe and so on. So you can see. Yeah? That's why his his main thing is it's not whether you're sannyas or this, but don't stop your devotional practices. Right? So and then you should take uh, from this, you should be happy to understand that I can also go back to Godhead, mm -hmm. you know. Not only just sannyas. Generally, that's why everyone thinks, you know, they are yeah. so great. No, Gryasa is also great. <laughs> Bhakti you know, Thakur was a Gryasa, right? All the, all, all the way, so many Acharyas are Gryasa. Ekanu Mahaprabhu was Gryasa. <laughs> great Thakur, Thakur, Yeah, that's right. This is the word, right? Yeah, it's a... Right, Ten fourteen uh, three. In what ten fourteen three? Well, no, I want Chaitanya Chaitanya. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, but the, yeah. <laughs> Chaitanya it is this. No, what I'm saying is this original. Uh, yeah, I know. You you said that. I want to know where in Chaitanya Chaitanya. The Kurma Brahman is. <laughs> oh, is it Raghunath Das? You find out. Okay. Anyway, text thirty one. Itam Gajendra Sayadaba Sankatam Pranasya Dehi Vivasa Yadrichaya Parayan Atma Vimoksha Nechiram Dadyao Yimam Buddha Timata bia padienta. When the king of the elephant saw that he was under the clutches of the crocodile by the will of providence and being embodied and circumstantially helpless, could not save himself from danger, he was extremely afraid of being killed. He consequently thought for a long time and finally reached the following decision. So you will see, we, we all will go through this situation mm -hmm. in our life, either very early in our life or towards the end we will go through this, where you will be afraid to die. What will you do? <laughs> How are you going to address the situation? If you are not Krishna conscious, you will be extremely disturbed and you cannot make the proper decision. But here you can see, uh, by the will of providence, the king of elephant is thinking, is thinking what to do. Hmm? So Prabhupada says, everyone is trying to save himself from danger, but one is unable to save himself. Then he says, if he is pious, 
he then takes shelter of the lotus feet of the supreme personality of god here and he quotes this famous verse from the bhagavad gita chatur vidha bhajante mam jana sukriti no arjuna jana these people who are pious only pious people will take to the shelter of krishna or the supreme lord uh, generally if you are not pious you will look for other ways of getting uh, rid of your situation but pious people merely they know i don't know what else to do <laughs> krishna help me yeah? even if they have all the resources they will pray to krishna first which means we should always be praying to krishna save me from this ocean of nescience so prabhat is showing that the the elephant is very pious that's why he could think of krishna so prabhat says after considerable thought he intelligently arrived at this correct decision such a decision is not reached by a sinful mm-hmm. man therefore in the bhagavad gita it is said that those who are pious sukriti can decide that in a dangerous or awkward condition one should seek shelter of the lotus feet of krishna so you can think about this also how often uh, when we are in a dangerous and awkward condition do we seek shelter of krishna or do we seek shelter of somebody else <laughs> one time i was chanting and uh, somebody hit me from behind and stopped chanting <laughs> so i didn't remember krishna <laughs> chanting and driving that's different but if you are trying to finish your quota by driving and chanting that is inattentive chanting <laughs> then it's a problem <laughs> i was coming from work and i was at the light that this person was on the phone or something and i just stopped and hit me from chanting and i just forgot about chanting yeah yeah it's okay so this sloka found it's in 867 stop between ramananda rai and author This was also this also yeah oh yeah that's that's the highest instruction there's a first thing that lord chaitanya accepted okay thank you nani prasam upadase that same to the past okay thank you so there it must be men two or three times i think he must have mentioned a few times because i remember reading it in another place anyway it's good to know thank you yeah yes maharaj also has put this in his reading article yeah for the kurma brahman kurma brahman right yeah so i remember that also Prabhupada quotes it in the purport, I think. Yeah, it's an 867. Okay. Madhya. Okay. Thank you. This is Madhya Lila uh, 87, 128. Oh, there are a lot of jobs. Yeah, a few places. Okay, good. <laughs> Text 32. So, I'm uh, just a uh, small question. So, in this case, Prabhupada is talking about pious men as in devotional piety or no, material piety? No, just piety. regular piety also. Well, they understand Krishna as Supreme Lord, so. They approach Krishna. They are just pious people who, are, who might not be devotional, but just they do good deeds and ritualistic. Maybe no, they can not also go. They can also go. Through, it's, it's it's possible, but they accept Krishna as a supreme person. That's why they approach him. You understand? No, no? Yeah, they so don't accept the who. They won't come. I think that's the background. Yeah, that's the basic. Jesus. they they accept krishna as supreme person so when they are in such difficulty they will reach out to krishna oh. yeah so they done it not it may not be backed with philosophical knowledge but by culture they accept krishna yeah they are pious yeah so, pious enough to understand i have to take shelter of the lord yeah. they may not be may not be devotee in that sense but these are all devotees krishna says all of these are yeah. devotees they are dear to him yeah yeah text 
Namami me nyataya aturam gaja. Namami me nyataya aturam gaja. prabhavanti mochitum. Rahina bashena vidatura vrito. Api am chatam yami param parayanam. The other elephants, who are my friends and relatives, could not rescue me from this danger. What then to speak of my wives? They cannot do anything. It is by the will of providence that I have been attacked by this crocodile and therefore I shall seek shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is always the shelter of everyone, even of great personalities. Good thought. So you can see here, he, he came to very quickly to the country. I mean, no, you can't say very quickly. After 1,000 years, <laughs> he came to the conclusion, but the right conclusion that even his relatives and all cannot help. See, same example of Draupadi. Right? Yeah. She tried to call others for family she called Krishna. Well, she didn't call others. She was struggling and then she was, she was fighting with her own strength. So she didn't call out to Krishna. Then finally she realized I had no choice. That's when she said, Hey, Govinda. Then he came. Didn't she uh, look up to Vishwadeva? Maybe she looked, I do not know. I wasn't there. The <laughs> same thing like she was trying to fight her own, but she found, figured that. Yeah, so the, point, the whole point is she wasn't thinking of Krishna because she asked Krishna later why you didn't come when yeah. I was. So Krishna said, you were not thinking of me, you were not looking for I help from me. I was at the door, but I couldn't. She so figured then, out faster than Gajendra. Huh? She figured out faster than Gajendra. Anyway, uh, <coughs> here the point is, you cannot depend on Anybody friends else? and relatives mm -hmm. and so on. But ultimately, in the greatest danger, only Krishna Nobody is. Of course, if you are pure devotee friends and relatives, that's a different matter. But in most cases, we are we don't have such situation. So uh, we should always have Krishna in our hearts. Uh, then he even says, "What to speak of my wives? They also can't help. They cannot do anything." He says. So he he then accepts his situation. Again, another lesson to learn that sometimes we can try. We can try some difficulties, you try to fix it. You try to fix it once, twice, three times, but then you must come to a conclusion that maybe this I cannot fix. Only one person who can fix like that. Yeah. Sometimes we keep doing the same thing. Huh? Uh, but they say, uh, there, there's a saying that, you know, a fool is one who keeps trying the same thing even though he doesn't get the a different result. He thinks he'll get a different result. <laughs> yeah. So we shouldn't do that. Eh? After a few times you try different things, but you never can solve the situation, turn to Krishna or his devotees. But sometimes I might think that I'm trying to fix, but that fix may not be good for me. Again, you need to, to, mm. to try it once or twice, then you approach a devotee or authority and say, look, I'm doing this, I'm not sure if I can fix it, or even if it can fix, is this the right thing to do? Yeah. So that's why you need to have, you know, uh, a, 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 a superior yeah, spiritual life, you know. Uh, of course, normal day-to-day -day effect, like, you know, shall I go outside, shall I stay inside, <laughs> not, not those kind of things. Dangerous situation, you are encountering, uh, somebody is trying to kill you or whatever, so then you have to take the right step, you know or police. After doing all that and still the threat is not going away, then you have to surrender to Krishna. Right? In the larger scheme of things, uh, uh, shouldn't we be thinking that being killed itself is not that bad? Can you? <laughs> no, and that is close by. Most people cannot handle it. Mm. They'll panic or they'll cry because nobody wants to die. die. Nobody wants to die. The, by nature, you are an eternal living entity. So that is not a normal situation. So when you go through that, the experience itself is so traumatizing. Traumatizing. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So <laughs> only a devotee who is purified, he accepts death. You know, okay. I was speaking to Amitananda the other day. We, like my mother was saying, how in the old days when they want to die, the old general uh, they'll call all the family and say, "I'm dying in a few days." You know, I just want to tell you, I'll bless you. And then they'll just go to bed and sleep and one, two days, boom. Mm -hmm. So they are very pious people, you know. 100, 200, 300 years ago, the piety and, and so amazing caliber of qualities. Nowadays, we don't have those qualities. So therefore, we won't be afraid of that. Only through the practice of Krishna consciousness, you will become strong to face that. So that's why in the beginning of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Swapam Masya Dharmasya Trayate Mahato The greatest fear you can overcome simply by doing devotional service. Fear of death. Yeah. So, yeah. You can do so much only, you know. After that, you should hold back. Like he did it for a thousand years, he struggled. Then he came to a conclusion, no. He didn't like fight and die. No, he said, last resort is Krishna. Let me worship him. So anyway, let's continue. <coughs> so Prabhupada then talks about the modern society. Uh, um, in the modern civilization, one thinks that if he has a nice home and a nice car, his life is perfect. Is it? <laughs> in the Western countries, especially in America, hey, we are in America. <laughs> it is very nice to possess a good car. What car? Tesla. Tesla. <laughs> but as soon as one is on the road, there is danger. I, I know devotees who have good cars and they are afraid to drive on the highway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because at any moment an accident may take place and one will be killed. The Prabhupada says, I think the devotees must have given this. The record actually shows that so many people die in, an accident, in such accidents. Therefore, we actually think that this material world is a very happy place. This is our ignorance. Real knowledge is that this material world is full of danger. Padam, padam, yad vi padam. Yeah. So anyway, you cannot keep uh, inventing different ways of uh, thinking we are happy. Like even in summertime, like not so much here, I guess, but if you go down south, summer is very uncomfortable there. It's like you, you average 60 days, sometimes it's 100 degrees. Oh. Yeah, so you stay in, indoor and have air conditioning. And you, in the air conditioning, you forget that it is hot outside. Yeah, you're thinking it's happy, the situation. But actually, the situation is still the same. It's an illusion. So Prabhupada says we make all kinds of plans, right? To so think we are happy. So we don't like something, we go home, we play games to feel we are happy, you know. But <laughs> after the game ends, no more happiness. Right? So again, Prabhupada quotes, those who try to be happy without taking shelter of personality of God here are mudhas, rascals. Then he quotes the other verse, the opposite verse. Yeah. <laughs> they never surrender. Those who are the lowest of men refuse to take to Krishna consciousness because they think that they will be able to protect themselves without Krishna's care. This is their mistake. And the decision of the king of the elephants, Gajendra, was correct. In such a dangerous position, he sought shelter of the Supreme. Personality of God here. Yeah. Ultimately, what Prabhupada's point is, we should always be taking shelter of Krishna, not just only when we are the dangerous place. Um, of course, practical things you don't ask Krishna, oh Krishna, please. Like there's a story he gives, you know, that one old lady, she used to go and fetch water in this pathway. So one day she took the water and was walking, she stripped, and the whole pot fell and broke, all the water was gone. So really she cried out, Narayana. And then Lord heard and he came from my And he said, my dear, what can I do? She said, my pot broke, can you fix it? 
So, I mean, obviously, when Narayan comes, you know, and she is a special person. The point is, she asks for a foolish thing. Yeah. Is this pure devotional service? Let me see. Yeah. calling for Krishna. He becomes pure after. It is pure devotional service, yes. The praying the, is part of the process. One of the nine processes, right? So we can say like that, right? The four types of people who come to Krishna, one who's in distress, he's in distress, that's where he's going to Yeah, he, he, I, I mentioned then he gets purified. So Dhruva Maharaj also, right? Yeah. He wanted wealth. Yeah, see. Yeah. So, but then he became pure. Yeah. After he, he surrendered, yeah. became pure. Yeah. So, so four types of people will come. So these are the types of people coming to Krishna. Ne Nectar of Devotion says these are all neophytes. Yeah. Four types. Nectar. They are neophytes, but it's, it's not that they are all pure already. Not yet. Ah, yes. That's why they go to Krishna and then they become pure. So at this point, Gajendra is not pure devotee. Yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. But he's very dear. But he's very dear. Very dear to Krishna. <laughs> That's why this pastime is taking place. Yeah. So, but Prabhuji here, like uh, Gajendra remembered, like uh, to surrender the Lord. Yes. He had some uh, previous life. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. That's why I say he's very dear. Otherwise, how can he remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. I mean, we all get remembrance of Krishna in our day to days. Sometimes Krishna makes us remember certain things, but we may refuse. <laughs> Only in difficulties. Not necessarily. Even yeah, difficult we may not think of Krishna. The point is, he is a special devotee. So you have to see his previous life. Then as Gajendra, in, in jeopardy, in danger, he is approaching Krishna. He didn't approach anyone else. He approached. So that in itself is glorious. Yeah. And you, you don't have to be pure to approach Krishna. <laughs> Anyone can approach Krishna. And then by approaching Krishna, one can be given the, the mercy to go back to God and immediately. We cannot think only when we appear, then Krishna will think. No, it is causeless mercy. No? So we cannot put a loss for Krishna. <laughs> he is beyond the laws. He creates his own rules sometimes. This is also one of the signs of surrender that he took shelter. Yes. That is definite. He surrendered. Mm -hmm. Because he will say in the next verse, if you if you if you can move, you know. Text the hit. Yakashanesho Balinon the Koraga. Yakashanesho Balinon the Koraga. Nachanda Veda Abhidavato Brisham. Tam prapannam paripati yad bayam. Tam prapannam paripati yad bayam. Rityu pradavati aranam tami mahi. Rityu pradavati The Supreme Personality of God is certainly not known to everyone, but He is very powerful and influential. Therefore, although the serpent, serpent of eternal time which is fearful in force, endlessly chases everyone, ready to swallow him. If one who fears this serpent seeks shelter of the Lord, the Lord gives him protection. For even death runs away in fear of the Lord. I therefore surrender unto him the great and powerful supreme authority who is the actual shelter of everyone. So now you see, he surrenders. Just like Guru Maharaj, when he heard from his mother, he also surrendered to the Lord and he performed those practices. Okay. <clears throat> so, in one sense, uh, Prabhupada also trying to make it clear in the purport for us that if you are intelligent, you will understand there is a supreme authority within the creation. Uh, not he wasn't a foolish king. He was very intelligent. He was one of the Mahajans. So how can he make mistakes? So therefore, he said, there's a reason for this. And so he decided to do that. Uh, 
So anyway, the Lord appears to protect his devotees. Okay. So here we can see, Prabhupada says, because Gajendra said, I surrender, he is therefore intelligent. Okay, what was I thinking? Yeah. We, Prabhupada's point is we should all know how to surrender to the Supreme Personality of God here. And then he talks about how, you know, all this, uh, the potency of the Lord and how he is death himself, how the material energy is working under his control, uh, but still for the purpose of saving his uh, uh, servants, he personally comes, right? Mm -hmm. Only he says that those who are fools, are lowest of men, duskritas, they will not surrender. Otherwise, everyone else will, uh, who take up the process, will surrender. So if you seek the shelter of the Lord, he says, they will be saved. And then the other thing he says is, um, a devotee certainly must give up his body, for the body is material. The difference is, however, that for one who surrenders to Krishna fully and, and who is protected by Krishna, the present body is his last. He will not again receive a material body to be subjected to death. Okay. So again, Prabhupada's point is we should Surrender completely. <laughs> so make this your no, last. Nice. Yeah, that's his point. He says, why? Because he says, returns home back to Godhead. No need to come back. And then he again highlights, it's very nice of Prabhupada. He says, it is not that only Gajendra, the king of elephants, was afraid to death, afraid of death. Everyone should fear death because everyone is caught by the crocodile of eternal time and may die at any moment. So more reason to take shelter of Krishna. So therefore he surrenders. Krishna tells Uddhava also that with remembering Krishna you should always remember death. It's in the 11th canto. Which 11th canto? I can't remember. So we are ready to face death. <laughs> Thus end the Bhakti Vedanta purpose of the eighth canto, second chapter, Srimad Bhagavatam entitled Elephant Gajendra's Crisis. Actually, it's very hard to think of Krishna when you are struggling. Difficult. It's very difficult, very hard. You never think about anyone except your situation. Oh, okay. yeah. So for Gajendra to come to that situation means there was the Lord's blessing. Okay. Yeah. For us, uh, in practical terms, what is the best course? Can we just chant? If we yeah, yeah, why not? You can chant. But later on we'll come, Srila Prabhupada says we should all have some uh, some prayers you should all remember on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay, so we'll go to Gajendra's prayer. These prayers are very, very nice. Prayers of Quintanti, prayers of Vishma Dev, uh, prayers of Gajendra, Dhruva Maharaj, Vritarasura. Yeah. All these nice prayers, you can study them, you can read them, you can memorize them. And then you get some some deep understanding yeah? like that. I was telling the, the when I was in that program on Saturday, like Gajendra's prayers. I I chant these prayers every Kartik and uh, uh, Purushottam month. Okay. Every day, 
Every day, of course. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> That's what I meant. These are your favorite prayers? Not, not necessarily, but I chant. For some reason, I, I started it many years ago, so I do it. How, how many verses are there in the Bible? It's from verse 2 to 29, I think. 2 to 29? Yeah. 27 verses. <coughs> right? Hmm. Yeah, 29. 29, yeah. 29. So he's offering prayers, and these are very nice prayers. Mm. It's very meaningful. Uh, it's like a person stuck in the material world, and uh, like all of us are like Gajendra, struggling. Mm. So it's a good prayer to ask the Lord to take me out of this difficulty. Uh, after praying, the Lord actually comes and takes him out of the So, yeah. all right. Text one. Sri Badaraya Nirvacha. Sri Badaraya Nirvacha. Evam Vyavasito Buddhya. Evam Vyavasito Buddhya. Samadaya Manoridi. Samadaya Manoridi. Jajapa Paramam Japyam. Jajapa Paramam Japyam. Rajan Mani Anushikshitam. Rajan Mani Anushikshitam. Sri Sukadeva Goswami continued, Thereafter, the king of the elephants, Gajendra, fixed his mind in his heart with perfect intelligence and chanted a mantra which he had learned in his previous birth as Indra Dumna and which he remembered by the grace of Krishna. So now you can understand huh? that it wasn't that on his own he could remember. Uh, nothing happens by... Chance. Chance. This is uh, offered by the Lord Himself. Having uh, seen Gajendra's situation, he, he he wants Gajendra to be successful. Mm. So he, he allows Gajendra to remember. To remember. Yeah. Mm. So, but actually, you can say he he he, he likes Indra King Indra so <coughs> much that he wants him to come back to Godhead. Mm. Okay. So in the uh, Prabhupada Shila Prabhupada quotes from 6th chapter 43 and 44, the verse from Bhagavad Gita, to say how that one who has not completed their devotional service, uh, they may, even though they may fall down, but they are, when they take birth, they are put into better situation mm -hmm. like that. Okay. So Prabhupada writes, uh, in these verses, it is assured that even if a person engaged in devotional service falls down, he is not degraded, but is placed in a position in which he will, in due course of time, remember the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Right? So somehow, King Indudumna is placed in the body of Gajendra, and then here the Lord allows him to remember the Stotra. <coughs> okay. So Prabhupada says, <coughs> to enable one to achieve perfection, Krishna gives one the chance to remember him again. This is proved here for although the king of the elephants, Gajendra, was put in danger, that this was a chance for him to remember his previous devotional activities so that he could immediately be rescued. Chintamani Prakara Satmasu when you chant that prayers, you should know this planet is Chintamani Dham. And they're full of desired trees. Millions of Gopi or Lakshmi's Gopis yeah? serving Krishna. So you remember Krishna, that's his point. Remember Krishna so that you can be thinking of Krishna at the time of death also. And then he says, um, all the Narasimha Stotra, Ito Narasimha Bharato Narasimha, Yato Yato Yami Tato Every devotee should practice in order to chant some mantra perfectly. So you should chant until you know it really well, means you also know what you are chanting. Hmm? Don't just chant mechanically, chant what is the mantra you are chanting. Uh, that is perfect. So that even though he may be imperfect in spiritual consciousness in this life, in his next life, he will not forget Krishna consciousness, even he becomes an animal. So this is Prabhupada's blessing. 
I'm saved. Huh? That's good. I'm saved. <laughs> then he says again, of course, a devotee should try to perfect his Krishna consciousness in this life, but simply by understanding Krishna and his instructions. After giving up this body, one can return home back to God here. And of course, then he talks about Jamil and so on. So, know some mantras and always try to chant the Hare Krishna mantra in any situation. So, if you are if you are in a very difficult situation, sometimes your your mind is disturbed. Best thing to do is sit down and chant. take your Jabba Mala and chant and chant and chant, and then you find after some time you will feel focused, peaceful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise you your mind will cheat you. The mind will start telling you, what about this? What about that? No, no, try this way. No, no, this way, da, that way. <laughs> right? The mind will tell you, no. After, sometimes you get into accident, right? Then your mind will tell you, if I had driven this way, that way, what the hell? <laughs> Prabhuji, when you are uh, walking or driving, or yes. like, uh, uh, can you maybe, um, uh, 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 yeah, not arti. Prayers, 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 prayers. Yeah, you can chant. You can chant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can chant also Hare Krishna mantra also. Yeah, yeah. you can chant anytime, but not japa. <laughs> Don't count the rounds. Don't count. Don't the count the rounds. <laughs> <laughs> you can chant any prayers, but but my point is, know what you are chanting. Mm. Prabhu, I've seen when sometimes I chanted 64 rounds and then when you chant 64 straight, like take 8 hours, you just keep remembering the mantra, it goes in the Yes, mind. yes, yes. It's because you chant so many times. Yeah. The ramp. Chante reta ho It's in the ramp. Ramp, ramp. Ramp, ramp. 64 GB ram. 64 GB ram. Because you were writing so many other quotes on the <laughs> on the land. <laughs> you overrated. So the prayers start from verse two. Maybe we'll start from tomorrow. I also found uh, in the in my case, and I get agitated. As soon as I hear Papa, that's it. Yeah. Immediately mm. mind comes yeah. down. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, you can listen to class lectures. Robot class is powerful. <laughs> now, in the beginning, it may be difficult to do this, but if you consciously try to practice, Krishna will allow you to to become peaceful. Like that. Yeah. yeah. So, one devotee, uh, I get one WhatsApp group message and they talk about the, the holy name. So, it keeps stressing different verses that. The name of Krishna and Krishna are not different. Mm -hmm. That's in getting a realization now. Mm -hmm. Just many years. They are not different. So when you chant your Krishna's name, it takes so much time to understand the point. In various sokas, uh, mm -hmm. it keeps stressing the same point. Like yeah. Name and Krishna and the same. The same. Yeah. What is that? Nama Chinta Hari. Krishna 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 Chinta Hari. Yeah. We'll stop. Yes, yeah, stop. We'll, we'll do the prayers from tomorrow.